Linwood Springs has always had a, a special place, I think, in the heart of the community here on Orcas Island. Um, I first came up here about 15 years ago, and I remember looking around and I thought, this is a place where uh, if I had these kinds of resources and I had land like this, I'd do this exact same thing. I mean, the fact that Jim was able to pull together water and, and ponds and a formal orchard and grow salmon that are this big uh, on a stream that's this big is just amazing. We weren't looking for a place to start a salmon hatchery, but it was shortly after we found this place, the, the question sort of just came out, you know, just naturally is, I wonder if we could get some salmon to, to, you know, to grow here. And uh, just sort of started off real small. We got some eggs from a, a state hatchery and built a incubation box. And when they eyed out and hatched, uh, we put a net pen in the large pond down here and moved the little fry into the pond and started feeding them. And, you know, not having any idea if this was going to work or not. We released the smolts when they grew. And that fall, we started getting returns of jack salmon. Now we're releasing about three quarters of a million uh, Chinook salmon each year and getting returns of, you know, up to 25 to 35 pound salmon coming back here. That's how it got started. And uh, we had no idea where this was gonna go, but it just grew from there. But it definitely changed my life. Partnerships and community building is kind of a central theme for the Glenwood Springs Hatchery. This is really a hub of activity. And you can see at an event like today where we have over 100 people come together to celebrate this place. Um, it has tremendous community support, people who just uh, uh, approve of this and want to support this kind of thing. I don't know if many people know the, the history of this property, but this was one of our village sites. This is where my ancestors are buried, right down there by the water still today. Something with this property is really, really touching me in my heart. This is a place that's really showing that our ancestors are still here, and they still are watching over us. The thing I like to show off most is what you're seeing right now, these adult salmon coming back. This is the fruit of all the hard work we've done over the year to get uh, the fish back. The kids really enjoying seeing this aspect of it. You know, this is the next generation of uh, folks that are going to be hopefully doing kind of the same thing I'm doing. Make baby fish. Make fish again. This hatchery is different in that uh, the fish here are raised in natural earthen ponds. We don't control for any predation. Those fish are learning how to forage for the aquatic insects in the pond, just like a wild salmon would be in a river. So I think these fish that leave Glenwood Springs have a more uh, natural instinct for what they're going to deal with when they hit the marine environment. This little hatchery, which started Long Live the Kings 30 some years ago, is a perfect example of where you know you can start a salmon run in a stream where one did not exist before. Uh, that was accomplished, that was a great feat back then, but now we're providing a recreational and commercial fishery to folks from the San Juans all the way up to Alaska. It is really a truly magical uh, place with a, a magical fish that we all 
worship and, and hope that we have here forever.